So, not my typical video, guys, but uh, I had one of those situations today that just kind of bothered me, and I'm, you know, more looking for an opinion more than anything. You know, I could go into one of my babbling fests that I'm so good at, but I noticed such a degradation of society and just, just the way people behave and how they act. And, uh, you know, so anyways, long and short, I'm at the shop today, the the shop that I work at, uh, that I manage. And um, I usually try and avoid the place, honestly, on Saturdays and Sundays. Um, just because I, I'm just, I got my own things to do and whatnot. Whatever, what have you. But, uh, so we had Taylor's Mustang up there today. <clears throat> had some friends come down from Miles City. We were pulling the tranny out of her car. I gave the tranny to a buddy of mine for one of his Mustang projects. Um, and we are putting, uh, the other tranny in Kayla's car. Um, at any rate, so we're, so we're all in there, you know, uh, the door on the shop clearly states, you know, Monday through Friday, open eight to five, uh, Saturdays and Sundays by appointment only, uh, working on the car, just hanging out, kind of chilling. So guy walks in, you know, just walks right up to the hoist. We're working on Kayla's car. And uh, it looks looks at us and says, "Do you guys fix tires?" I said, uh, "Well, well, yeah." And uh, he says, "Oh, well, I got a tire needs fixed." I'm like, okay. And uh, he he says, "We well, guys fix tires, right?" I said, uh, "Well, yeah, but we're we're closed, man." He's uh, he he looks at me. He says, um, "Well, do you know how many tire shops in Sydney are open on a Saturday?" And I looked right back at him and I said zero. He says, so what, you're telling me you can't fix a tire? I said, whatever, man, bring the tire in. Um, you know, just kind of a demanding tone. Uh, you know, and it's, it's a Saturday. You know, we're honestly closed. Uh, you know, I'll do what I can to help people out. But uh, at any rate, so he brings a tire in um, the whole time, just, just kind of bitchy, grumpy about it, almost, almost demanding like he just uh, expected something out of me, like it, like I owed him something. And uh, brings a tire in, I grab the tire, uh, it's off of Mercury Milan. Uh, felt the sidewall with my thumb as I'm carrying it across. And uh, I could feel the sidewall was soft, I could tell the tire had been, uh, had been uh, ridden on. And I'm telling him, telling him that this tire is probably, you know, not, uh, not going to be serviceable. And I told him that as we go across the shop. So he says, so what, you can't fix the tire? I said, well, I, I don't know. I said, we're going to have to put it on the tire machine. So I pop the bead, pop the top bead, get it off, look down in the tire, there's rubber in the sidewall, and the, and the sidewall's chafed off. By this point in time, two women, you know, roll in with him. He's apparently doing this for a buddy, you know, one of, one of his friends, whoever it was. And, uh... You know, I, <clears throat> I looked at him. I said, "Look, man, I can't, I can't fix this tire." He says, "What do you mean you can't fix this tire?" Meantime, Shelby is doing Shelby things. Now, remember, this is this is today. This is on a Saturday. You know, I'm at the shop on my own time. I'm not there in a professional capacity. We're hanging out with buddies. We're working on my wife's car. Actually, doing some of my own projects. And. Uh, he says, I sure wish this dog had cooled down. I looked at the guy and I said, uh, what did you say? He says, I just wish this dog would chill out. <sighs> so whatever, man. You know, so the two gals that come in, you know, I knew them. And I was like, hey, you know, I told them, hey, you know, how's it going? And uh, popped top beat on the tire, like I said, you know, saw rubber in there. Told them I wasn't going to be able to fix it. And, uh, you know, then from there, there's, there's this uh, dialogue that goes on about, you know, me not fixing the tire and so on and so forth. And, uh, you know, one of the people says, uh, says, well, you know, I'll just call so-and-so down at such-and-such -such tire shop. And, um, and, you know, no, no dialogue towards me at that point in time. And the, the one guy says, well, what, is he going to open up the shop? And the, the, uh, the gal says, uh, says, well, he better open up the shop. I called him and I told him it's an emergency. And, uh, you know, so basically this guy comes in, like even though we're, we're closed and, the, and the, the sign on the door says it's closed, says that we're closed. And then he insults me and he insults my dog, you know, and then 
they start making demands. You know, and I, I try and go above and beyond with customer service. I try and help people out, even even if I don't really need to. I just I just kind of feel like it's uh, it's you know what I need to do. But I really felt pretty insulted about that whole situation. They they left. They went off. You know, obviously upset that I wouldn't fix the tire because it'd been driven on on the sidewall. If I fix the tire. You know, there's a potential it's going to blow out. There's a liability on my end. You know, in 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 Wayne Wick speak, pull the fucking spare out of the goddamn trunk, put it on the freaking car, and drive it until Monday when you can get it tired. Um, I'm not going to put my neck on the line for you going out there at 80 miles an hour on the on the road. You know, blowing a tire and you're going to roll over and you're going to come back to me. But I guess the the question. Whatever, I'm getting into my babbling, but the question that that really comes out of this is, is it really your responsibility as a person who owns a shop of, of any service-related industry to just serve the customer and smile at them? And I guess a secondary question that comes out of that is, uh, you know, how have people... You know, come to believe that they are so entitled to these things. I mean, how have people become so demanding? And and should I have just, you know, started making phone calls? I mean, we got, honestly, a $40 tire repair, you know, top end. Should I have gone out of my way? Should I have, you know, made phone calls, called in favors from friends, tried to help these people out? Do I have a right to be upset about this? I mean, is, is this something that I should just keep my mouth shut about and, and totally be okay with? Or, or is this something that I really have a reason to have cause with? And, and you know, why, why do people act that way? Why do people think that, uh, you know, people in my position owe them something? Um, you know what, honestly, like I said, not, not my usual blog, not my usual video, but I'm kind of curious what you guys think about this. And I know that some of my viewers, you know, run shops, work at shops, experience this stuff on a daily basis. And I, I would truly like to know what you guys think about this and, and, uh, you know, how you guys deal with the behavior of some of the customers that, uh, that, that you got to deal with. Um, you know, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'll make a video about it. Because I think it's a real problem. And, and I see it on a daily basis. This isn't an isolated situation. It's not something that I've only seen once. It's just one of those things that, for a moment, kind of got to me. And, uh, Kayla and I, you know, thought maybe, just see what you guys think. So, uh, as usual, do the YouTubery things that you have done thus far. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Seriously. And uh, whatever. No judgment. See you guys in another video.